What is going on, guys? Dirtbag Farmer back here with another Farming Summer 22 episode. Today, guys, we're going to be continuing harvesting. And over here on Field 4, you can see we have the Fence 714 Vario up here on Field 4. We got to do some more windrowing up here. Let's go ahead, put that guy on a worker, head on down to the windrower, and continue our work. All right, so we're in the fence now. We're going to continue windrowing here. Um, one thing I'm not sure, do we have a baler? That's Okay, so we do have a baler here. So we will be able to collect all the bales. Uh, well, we'll be able to bale with... Um, we'll be able to go get the baler. Start baling here probably near the end of this episode. And then probably in the next episode, we'll come in and collect all the bales. That should be pretty good. And if you guys are enjoying this series on the channel, do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. I'd really appreciate it. But I'm going to continue going up and down these this field here, windrowing all this grass, and I'll see you guys probably in a few minutes. All right, guys, so I just got a notification saying the combine is full, so we're going to have to go unload it real quick. And as you can see, guys, in the last episode, we did buy this new uh, trailer. At least I think that was in uh, the previous episode. I don't think I bought it off camera. So, uh, this one I think. Um, let's see here. This one holds well, definitely more than this one. But yeah, I don't really know. But we can actually sell this one in a second here. First of all, though, use the super speed here. Uh, first of all, we gotta hop in the six R here. Well, the other six are. And go down to the silo pit because uh, when I was emptying the trailer the last time, the little red trailer, when I was emptying it, I didn't uh, completely unload it. So I need to go and unload it. Yeah, you can see there's still a bit of barley in the trailer. And then we can take it down to the shop and sell it. There we go. So I'm going to unload it and head down to the shop. All right, let's head down to the shop here. Be careful on all these tight roads. Don't want to hit anything. Here's uh, our field six off to the right over here, as you can see. So we will be harvesting that here in a little while. Most likely the next episode, we'll, I'm going to let that combine go for a while on the worker. Then I think we'll be harvesting more. Looks like this is, might be some canola in there. Not really sure. What is that actually? It's is it oats? Oh, it's sorghum. Oh, it's sorghum. Nice. But yeah, field five actually. How much is that? It's um okay. So in like nine hundred thousand. Whoops, that's a tree. So like nine hundred thousand. So we probably won't be buying it anytime soon though. But here's the shop looks like. So let's go ahead. Pull in here. So I don't think no, I don't have anything to pick up at the shop. Um, let's go. Okay, looks like we gotta go around here. There you go, perfect. Gotta back the trailer in right here, and this is where we're gonna be selling this trailer, right here. We'll go ahead, detach it. I'm gonna leave the six R here for now because we're not gonna need it for a while. Uh, we probably will mow the sheep pasture. For long, but let's see. Uh, thirty thousand dollars. Nice. There we go. So you now you got seventy three thousand dollars. We're gonna go ahead, tab back to the uh, didn't mean to shut off. Tab back to the fence here, and I'll see you guys once we're done this field. All right, there we go, you guys. The windrowing's all done now, and I was actually thinking, what if we bought sheep? Because we have all the uh, all the grass bales we're gonna need. Can't make that turn. Because we, we have all the grass bales we're going to need, or will have. so And the sheep pasture is right there. And we will be mowing the sheep pasture here in a few episodes, most likely. So it might actually not be that bad of an idea to get sheep. So, oh, that might be something coming in the future. I'm not really sure right now if we'll do that or not. But definitely something to consider, because we can sell them. Um, Once they're full grown, we can sell them each for a 1000 um and then their wool is also quite um quite valuable so we would be able to make quite a bit of money especially because you can buy like a pretty decent amount i think on another save game i have i think i might have like 180 sheep or something so 
it's like almost 200,000 each time you sell them uh, plus by selling their wool or selling it to a production or something. I'm not sure how many productions are on this map, if any, but we could do that. So, I don't know. Might be something coming in the short future here. All right, so I just left the windrower over there. We're going to go ahead pick up the baler now. Looks like the combine's full, though, so I'm going to grab this baler real quick and then uh, go run over there to the 6R and start unloading that combine again. There we go. Let's grab this. Perfect. All right. So now, before I forget, I will turn on automatic bail drop so we don't have to stop each time and uh, press buttons to have the bail drop. So let's go ahead and unload the combine here. All right, guys, we're coming on in here to the field. So we're going to start here on this first row. Looks like it might be the headland row. Yep. All right. So let's open the help panel here. Let's lower it down. Let's um change the bale size though with pressing L looks like. So we can go up to 180. I think we'll do 180 centimeter bales because I don't want to be collecting too many bales off this field. So I'm going to see how many bales that kind of starts us off with. Um, and then the next time we might go to a, uh, well, we can't really go to a bigger bale size because we don't have a uh, different baler because this is the biggest bale size that this baler will do so we might go to a small baler uh size next or a, uh, sorry excuse me a smaller bale size next time but i'm going to continue baling here and let's see how many bales we get off this field that does look like a pretty decent sized bale yeah that should work quite well there we go you guys we're just unloading the another bale here the combine though on the other hand is done working there we go perfect so we're completely done the barley field now at least i think right unless he missed a spot down here uh he might have missed a spot down here we'll go check check uh just to be sure um yeah i'm guessing he might have well that's a trailer sorry uh, ooh, see that suspension, though? That's kind of good. Um, all right, I'm guessing he might have, he may or may not have missed a spot down here. He didn't. All right, that's surprising, actually. So we have a few, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like, eight, eight little spots around here. So we have just a couple little spots around here that we missed, but you know what? That's nothing much. That's, that's fine. So we're going to go ahead, fold this combine up here. Uh, okay. And, uh, actually, no, where, where am I? going to fold up i always do this for some reason when i'm playing farm sim sometimes when i'm like playing on my own i'll just go and start a harvest and then i'll then like after the first field i'll just randomly go and put away the combine because i think i'm done and then i realize that there's like a lot more to do or something or like it'll be done down to like the last field and i'll go to put the combine away and like oh hey I did good, uh, harvest is done, and then all of a sudden I remember I have a whole other field to do. I've done that so many times. But I'm going to do this headland here, go unload that trailer, and then I'll see you guys, I guess once we're back to bailing. Okay, so I was actually thinking, the equipment you start off with on this map is pretty, it's pretty generous, it's nice. Now, you start off with uh, three, um... Uh, like grain, like um, uh, what what would you call them? Um, three fields that you can like do grain on, pretty much, without plowing them up. You start off with two, three, and six, I believe. I was thinking if we sold field two. Um, because it's not like these two big fields in here. It's a nice big field for, and the value of it right now is four is four hundred and fifty four thousand dollars. So there's a chance we could sell that and maybe sell some other pastures around here or even buy some more land possibly. Like, I don't know, I would guess if we sold a bit of stuff, we'd probably go to upgrade some equipment, I think. Um, obviously, we can't go too big, but we would be able to maybe sell some stuff and uh, buy some bigger equipment. The combine's fine. The trailer's fine. 
for now, all the equipment's fine, but I don't know. It might be something to consider here in the next few episodes. So, selling field two and maybe buying a bunch of sheep or I don't really want to get horses. Could do cows. Maybe do cows. I don't know. And we're full. So, we're going to tab down to the tractor here. There we go. Uh, oh, yeah, of course, I forgot to unload this of all the barley. All right, give me a second. I'm going to go unload this, then run down to the combine. All right, now we can go ahead, run on down to the combine, and get that all unloaded. Make that turn there without crashing through that intersection there. Or is it is that an intersection or a roundabout? I don't know. This is more of like a European map, so I'm not fam familiar with these roads at all. Would that be called, like, I don't really know what that actually be called. Probably just an intersection. I don't know. Closest thing I can think to that would be a roundabout. All right, let's get unloading the combine here. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and shut the tractor off. There's not any traffic on this road. I don't actually think there's traffic on this map. Anyways, guys, I'm going to continue unloading the combine here. We're going to get it on a worker going up and down the field here. And then I'm going to get back to bailing. All right, so we're back to bailing here. Honestly, this Fent is handling the baler quite well. I'm not sure how much horsepower is needed between them, but actually, let's see real quick. I'm going to check this out right now. So the Fent looks like it has... 150 horsepower, the baler requires 100. Okay, so we're actually well over the amount it needed. Nice. All right. I'm going to continue baling here, and I'll see you guys probably when most of the baling is done. All right, guys. So we're nearing the end of baling here. I'm going to stop real quick and make a couple purchases here. So I have decided that I am going to buy sheep. So therefore, we're going to need a water trailer. Can we make this look kind of nice? Oh, yeah, we can. All right, let's buy this water trailer, and let's see which. Okay, which? Oh wait, wait. Okay, I kind of just want to see this for just to just for fun, real quick. No, this does not have a hitch. Okay, if this had a hitch, I would so buy that probably. These I know would probably tow it. I think, and I'm gonna go with this one probably. The TRA 500. Now let's customize it here. Wheel setup. Uh, okay, I'll leave that normal. Um, handlebar, handlebar two, three, or four. I think I'll go with four. That way, color color matches and all that. Bumper. I'll have the um the bars come up around the headlights. For the roof, no, we do we do not need a roof. Um, attachers. So hitches. Um, no. We'll go with the 80 kilometer one and we'll buy it in. Let's, let's just buy it in jet black, I guess. Or we could go Onyx. No, let's just go jet. Yeah. A few colors here don't match up, but it kind of looks good. Maybe we could put the. Put it to oops, silver. So that kind of. Yeah, I'll go with that. All right, let's go ahead and purchase that real quick. $13,650. That is a lot. All right, finish this row here and then go and collect the new uh, ATV. There we go. I shut off the tractor, stop the baler for now. Um, first of all, as much as I want to go and have a bit of fun with that ATV, we do have to unload the combine. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll go and get the ATV. And I think the combine's almost unloaded. We are 61% in the trailer now. Go ahead and start dumping that grain farther to the back. There we go. Perfect. All right. 65% in the trailer. About 20,000 liters. We are going to go now. Tab to... Here it is. All right. The new Lizard TRA 500. This is the 80 kilometer uh, an hour one. I could have gone with the 120 kilometer one. Um, but I decided to go a little bit less than that, just so we're not flying all over the place, going way too fast and making it really unrealistic. Now, the only thing is, I don't think we have a water trailer back at, or a water trailer, a water barrel back at the 
farm. So we're probably going to have to buy that. Actually, unless it's at the second farm. Might be over there. I don't know. We can uh, fly down these roads now. So let's go and see real quick if there's a... That's a deer back there. Let's go back, or let's go to um the second farm and see if there's a water trailer up there. Water barrel, sorry, up there. All right, so I've confused myself so much now. I don't know if I'm looking for a water trailer or a barrel. Um, But let's see if it's up here. Hopefully it is. I mean, it doesn't look too promising right now. Okay, so that's that's gas right there, which looks like we have to fill up, actually. Actually, how much would that be? Or, let's see, what's the max it would do? It would be 10,000 liters, 13,750. Okay, we might look into that. That's if we need more gas in the future. Uh, that, I think, would be some dumping area for that. Uh, would this be water? Not sure. Might not be. Might be. Oh, wait. Oh, it is water. Nice. Okay, but it is, it is charging us for it. As you can see up in the top right, the money is going down a little bit. But that'll be all right. Um, it will still spend less money getting this water right here than we would probably placing down a water tank and then filling it up. So let's head back down to the sheep here. Uh, where are the sheep? There to my... Okay, I'm going to be taking a right right here. And brakes are not very good with this on the back. Neither is the gas. Okay. Got to keep that in mind. Might not be able to climb giant hills like this all right here's the gate for the sheep let's go ahead and open it here let's pull on into the sheep pasture here now i'm just going to park this probably up next to the gate right here just in case we need it in the future for something before we get the sheep i think that should be in a couple episodes maybe the next episode actually all right i'm going to just Put the ATV right here. Shut this gate. Actually, we can just leave this open. Uh, no, better shut it. All right. Tab over here. Oh, what's going on now? All right. Well, I think that's about all I'm going to do for this episode. This is going to be the end of the episode, guys. If you guys enjoyed, please hit that like button and subscribe if you guys are new. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.